Analysis indicates that the Sky Carrier is equipped with very advanced electronic countermeasures, complicating our attempts to neutralize it as a threat. To counteract this, targeting beacons are to be placed at designated locations, greatly assisting the satellite's tracking system. The satellite's weapon consumes an incredible amount of energy, and its recharge speed is prohibitively short, so we will only have one chance at this. Skies are clear so far. That won't last. Everyone, get prepped and ready. Escort teams to the departure point. Be ready to protect the transport vehicle at all costs. Protect those beacons or we're goners. Atlas isn't going to stop. I only wish I knew why this was even happening. Why Atlas has turned on us. Atlas knows the only people who would stand between them and world domination are the UAC. This was inevitable. Regardless, destroying the Sky Carrier with an orbital strike is our top priority. Protect the transport vehicle. Its survival is paramount. It's highly probable that Atlas's own intelligence knows about the beacons and their use, so expect heavy resistance. Keep moving! Only hope Spectre doesn't show up. They're probably somewhere far away, cooking puppies or something. If Spectre shows, we'll recalibrate the strategy. But until then, we focus on the Sky Carrier and the Atlas ground forces. are of strategic import, including an XS-1 Goliath. Having an XS-1 Goliath will give us a strong tactical advantage. Heavy damage. 
We need to get it back up and running. The repairs are almost complete. Operations has detected a supply drop from Atlas. Great. Just what we need. More of their tanks and helicopters. Atlas should be generous today. Commandeer those assets. Until the transport's repaired, we'll need them. Sky Carrier hasn't been destroyed, but at least we shut down Atlas's plans. <laughs> 